next guest tonight has a remarkably diverse resume by any standard. She played a young Xena warrior princess, the yellow Power Ranger, Tinkerbell, a nurse on Masters of Sex, and now a brain-eating undead medical assistant on iZombie. It airs Tuesday nights at 9 on The CW. Please welcome Rose McIver. <laughs> You look very, very healthy. You're definitely on the healthy end of the zombie spectrum. Thank you. I've been taking my supplements. And on the show also, you don't look like a zombie. We've tried to make a kind of a glamorous zombie, or like the more glamorous end. The what more is with this accent? What's going on here? I'm a fraud. You've got me. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a New Zealander. I've lived out here for a bit. Oh, years. welcome to our nation. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all. Very hospitable. Did you get into movies because, uh, because you, so many movies are made there in New Zealand? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff made in New Zealand. Um, when I was about three, I was in the piano. I was a glorified background extra in the piano, and I was a little angel. So wow. that was kind of my start. But I remember one of my earliest memories was desperately needing to go to the toilet um, on that production and being like, oh my gosh, and having to cross my legs. And I was in a school play in the film. I'm in a school play. And the AD came up to me and was like, that's really cute. Use it. And I was like three, and I was like, is this always going to be like this? Like, use it. Use it. So, <laughs> yeah, so I look back now and I'm like, that was one of my formative memories. That movie won the Oscar, didn't it? Yeah, the courtesy of my desperation for that. Yeah, really. I mean, that is, um, you really were an angel in that, in that movie. So on this show, as a zombie, it's, I think, an interesting, um, it was a comic book first. You play, you eat the brain of a person that is dead to stay alive, and then you take on that person's characteristics. Can you imagine what it was like talking about this before the first season was out? It, trying to explain this pitch to anyone, it's like I'm, we call it a rom-com zomdram, because it's a romance, comedy, zombie, drama. It's also procedural, but that didn't fit. The guys on the set must have been so happy with themselves when they came up with rom-com <laughs> zomdram. Yeah, thank you. It's, yeah. I mean, that must have been a, a parade that went on there, right? Yeah, we used it. We probably overused that one. <laughs> rom-com zom-drom. <laughs> and so, and so, but it is a rom-com zom-drom. Mm -hmm. and it, <laughs> on a more serious note, yeah. And it, it, in a way, you're playing like a different, even though you're playing the same character every week, you're playing a different character every week. Yeah, it's sort of like the fantasy. When you're little and you think, I want to be an actor when I grow up and put on these different outfits and be these different characters, I get to do that each week. But it's also terrifying because each time I eat a brain, I take on a new set of characteristics. <laughs> and sometimes it's accents and sometimes it's um, gymnastics. And I mean, there's been all sorts. There's been cheerleaders and um, a, a real housewife this season, which is quite something. <laughs> of which? Which uh, city? Seattle. Of Seattle. Seattle. Mm -hmm. Real housewife of Seattle, huh? It's a thing. <laughs> and did you feel like, well, I guess for you that would be an accent. For us, there isn't really a Seattle accent. It's pretty neutral. Yeah, no, that's less, less of an accent on that one. I'm trying to get them to get a New Zealander. You know, I eat the brain of a New Zealander so I can use my natural You could take accent. the week off, basically. Exactly. Yeah. Put my feet up. <laughs> It's like Freaky Friday every week for you on that show. It is. It and is. So, well, that's kind of fun, I guess, isn't it? It's amazing. I mean, sometimes I, I, I get to eat the brain of a magician in one of these episodes, which is pretty special. I hadn't... They have the most enough. delicious brains. Yeah, they really do. <laughs> they do. I, and so then you'll learn to do magic tricks. I do. And I actually um, decided that if it's okay with you, I'd like to show you a magic trick. Well, I've yeah. never turned that down before in my life. So, yes, go ahead. I did notice that there was a deck of cards, so... <laughs> All right, so regular. how do we do this? Okay, so what I'm going to do, I will use this deck of cards, but first, I want you to use your imagination. Okay. Okay, I need you to fantasize. I need you to think about, here's a deck of cards. That's not what I'm fantasizing about. <laughs> oh, all right, here's the card. Here's the deck of cards. I want you to spread them all out, face up. On Should the I table. open? Are they undone? or? Are That's they... good of you if you take them out of the packet first. Take them out of the packet? <laughs> Oh, they're heavy. They're heavy. They're special oh. magic ones. Uh, there's naked dudes on these cards. <laughs> all right. Oh, Talk spread them out. All right, like okay, that. so they're all face up. Oh, shh. <laughs> are there any other assistants available? Yeah, all right, there, there they are. Okay. Okay, I want you to choose one numbered card, any numbered card, so between two and ten, any suit. Okay, I got it. And take it out, turn it over, and put it back in the pack. Okay. See how good I am at this? You're natural. Thank you. <laughs> so they're all face up and one card is face down. Right. Okay. I want you to tell us in the audience um, what card you've chosen. It's a four of clubs. The four of clubs. Unusual choice, but... Um, 
I'm okay. an unusual guy. Okay, well, luckily, I actually predicted what you were going to choose. And backstage, in the dressing rooms, before I even got to come and sit with you, I have a deck of cards in my hand that I have magically turned one card upside down in this deck. What card did you say it was? Four of clubs. The four of clubs. Would yeah. you be surprised if in this deck there is one upside down card and it's the four of clubs? I'll be furious if it isn't. Okay. <laughs> It's a no-pressure environment. <laughs> okay. okay. Face up, face up, face up. Now, this seems too good to be true. Why? Come on. Would you do me a favor? <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's the four of clubs, everybody. <laughs> Come on, how do you do that? <laughs> wedding. That's so a really good trick gig doesn't work out. Give this back. There yeah. you go, yes. <laughs> maybe in, in, in Vegas. Uh, <laughs> maybe could you could jump in for Siegfried or for Roy. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah, it could be something else. Houdina. You okay. know what? Siegfried and Rose. I think it works. It's beautiful. Jimmy Rose. and Rose. <laughs> Rose MacGyver, everybody. Watch her on iZombie. Tuesday nights on the CW. We'll be right back with Jewel.